What's up everybody, Luciferian here again. And today we're gonna to be discussing the changes to the toolbox that's coming up in the patch that is releasing today and exactly why it is a good thing. So up on your screen, you're gonna see six different uh, games all going at the same time. We have pretty optimal toolboxes, if you can tell. We're in a four man survivor with friends and we're just showcasing exactly how unfun it is as a killer with the way you can make the game go by almost instantaneously the the issue with toolboxes as they were including the add-ons to include brand new part and how many charges the toolboxes had is the very core concept of any video game is that you want to have a chance to win there's very few people out there who would play and have fun knowing they are going to lose every single time. You always want to feel like you had a chance at least. Even if you even if you lose, as long as you had a chance going into the game, you you feel less bad about it. So, you'll notice in this this entire video is only 5 minutes long. And this showcases all five games to include Endgame and Mori, or all six games, Endgame and Mori, of the last one. The longest time it took us to complete five generators in all six of these games was four minutes exactly. And that's only because we held off to get an unhook and then pop adrenaline. So under four minutes, every single game, uh, we had two more games. In between this, those killers DC'd. Uh, obviously, they weren't having fun. They didn't feel like they had a chance in the game. So they just instantly left. And I don't really blame them. So go ahead, take a look. Our shortest one was under three minutes. It's about to pop pretty soon. You're not going to have fun as a killer when this happens and i understand as a survivor it can feel really good just completely dumpstering a killer we we laughed the entire time we were doing this but if we want everyone to enjoy the game killers to stay inside of this game and continue to deal with the fact that it is survivor sided it can't it can't feel as if you know, they, they never had a shot to begin with. And I've heard a lot of people complaining, saying, oh, they're constantly nerfing survivors. Why do they need to nerf toolboxes? Toolboxes have been like this for a long time. But I think as time has gone on and people have put the amount of time they have into survivors, they're just better. Think of yourself as a survivor with, you know, 50 hours into the game now. Think of wherever you are at now. That could be 50 hours. That could be 3,000 hours. The skill level you have has raised immensely. So the difference in the time from where toolboxes were at the very beginning of the game to are they necessary now? I don't think so. And even at high, le high level play, because these are all rank one lobbies, red rank killers, stuff like that. And not a single one of them was able to even compete. The killer that you're seeing right at this very moment brought in an Ebony Mori, only got two hooks the entire time. And within five minutes of this game, had all five gens done, gates open. And while he's mooring me on the ground right there, I'm being teabagged by survivors who just absolutely know they're getting out of the game. It's not fun. All right, guys, that's just my point on the whole toolbox change. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, come back, stop by the Twitch channel. If you ever want to see me live, all of you guys have a fantastic day. Good night.